I am a professional artist for 25 years. 15 years I live only by selling artworks. I sell it through gallery exhibitions and art fairs. In these 15 years I can conclude that the artist existence in the art market is such a winding road with the ups and downs. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. There is no stability. That's what I pay to get the freedom to do what I love, the freedom to live how I want. Sometimes the price seems too high. You invest a lot and you get any results far from immediately. I would like to show you behind the scenes preparation for my solo show this winter. К сожалению, трон в этот раз мы не берем, ни трон не берем, ни стол не берем, и голоснежки в гроб тоже здесь останется. Но нам нужны еще две работы. Так, и даже, даже, а, одну мы погрузили, да, две работы нам нужны. Вот это, Рапунцель, и еще сейчас одну поищем. Это, вероятно, она здесь. Сейчас посмотрим. Driving two times? Twice. Twice. This is. We transport all selected objects from our art storage to the exhibition hall. The elevator doesn't work. Just at the wrong time. I hate to carry heavy things, even my own artworks, but I have to do it often and I have to keep reminding myself it's a necessary part of the process. I help my art to get to their location. We do it together with my husband. Together we are really a good team. It is a full-time job for us and while our family is living only by selling art. This place is amazing, but it's very important to use it wisely. The level of the show here is a museum quality. Such an exhibition has its own characteristics. The presented objects are combined into a certain drawing, like a map, where the project is revealed in the new key, assembled into a new story. This is the fifth time where I show the project as a solo show and I consider its presentation here one of the most interesting. Gallery director's name is Frank Weber. He not only proposed the exhibition, but also was completely creating the whole show. And he did it excellently and professionally. First we hang up the graphic works. My husband and Frank did it together. My task was installations and objects. No one can do it better than me. The first is installation for the fairy tale King Truss Beard.
Next, there's a small composition of a plate and glass for the fairy tale Seven Ravens. These are real historical artifacts, but each one has a secret, an edited message in each object. In this video, you can see how I made the project. Or follow the link under the video. There is a Cinderella shoes. It's so nice vintage ballroom shoes, hand embroidered with lace and stones. When I take them to my hands, I admire all the time how they were made. The paper dress has changed color over the years, but I think it looks now even more interesting. Building installations and placing objects, I really love this part of the job. It's as if you activate some kind of magical mechanism and with the last movement it launches. Now everything is ready. I worked on this project for three years. It is very dear to me. Every detail of it consists of a lot of thoughts, experiences, personal transformations and handwork. There are a couple of days between the show installation and the opening. This is perfect when everything is ready on time and there is a moment to rest. Let's see what is needed to such a solo exhibition. First, you need a completed project with your own concept. It must be well thought out in terms of design and presentation. In my case, it is very high quality museum prints and framing. It's very important to pay attention on how installations and objects are placed in the space. We are showing here only one part of the project, it was necessary to select the works so they would form a single line and atmosphere. To make them in tune with the time and space, sometimes some works, even the most striking or eye-catching ones, need to be excluded if they fall out of the exhibition set. Frank helped me with all this. He proposed his solution for the location very quickly. He knows his space very well. Each work found its most favorable location lightening and at the same time was woven into the overall pattern of the exhibition. The viewer walking through the hall discovers the whole story gradually. It's like reading a book where there is a beginning, plot development, climax and logical but unexpected ending.
And of course, there are complementary details that help reveal the overall mood and atmosphere, every object in its place. And it was very important for me to present my project at a solo show here because I really want to become part of the local community. We have a lot of creative people here, including artists, architects, actors, musicians. I really want to interact with everyone at this stage as a kind of creative collective force, which will help make this wonderful place this city more interesting and lively will attract those interested in art and culture to the city. A short break and now I need to prepare myself. The artist is an important part of the exhibition. Three-dimensional and moving a complement at the opening.
Feel free to approach the art of the opening. I love communication with my audience and talking about projects. like to say to all beginner artists that, of course, a career begins with the simple things, small exhibitions and constant participation everywhere. Yeah. Gradually your projects will grow and become more complex and the exhibitions will scale up. I hope the video was useful and inspiring. Thank you very much for watching and see you in next video. Спасибо, что посмотрели мое видео. Я хотелось показать не только одну из своих выставок, но также кухню, как все подготавливается, как все устроено, и рассказать, что целью выставки может быть не только заработок или построение имиджа, но также укрепление связей. Когда ты что-то отдаешь месту и людям, что тут живут, без расчета, что когда-нибудь это будет тебе полезно. Но в долгой перспективе такие события и действия важнее всего, потому что так мы строим свою реальность. Мы можем уже сегодня делать что-то для будущего своего и окружающих, создавать пространство, в котором хочется быть. И кто знает, может, такие движения гораздо быстрее принесут нечто ощутимое для художника. И еще хочу сказать под конец очень важную одну вещь что если вы художник, то ходите на выставки других авторов не только для своей собственной пользы, но и для поддержки друг друга, потому что это очень важно.